So we already have a before and after video on Nicki Minaj here on this channel, but it seemed like a good time to do an updated one, considering she's been in the news a lot lately. Nicki, whose given name is Onika Tanya Mirage, has 105 million followers on IG at the time of this recording and is one of the biggest female rappers out there. Right now, she's being talked about for a few reasons. Firstly, word is out that she's beefing with Cardi again. Nicki said on the Joe Budden podcast recently, I would feel so effing crazy if I had number ones and Grammys and ain't on nobody top 50 list. Which is believed to be a jab at Cardi, who actually did win a Grammy and has had two number one singles, which Nicki hasn't yet, even though she's a mega star in the rap game. Anyways, I could go on about the Nicki vs. Cardi beef forever. Nicki's also making headlines because she might have just married her ex-convict boyfriend, Kenneth Petty. Not only has she talked about marrying him on her podcast, but she changed her name on Twitter to Mrs. Petty. I think he's been in jail twice, once for rape charges and once for first degree manslaughter. Nikki does stick up for him, but at the end of the day, he's still a registered sex offender. Awkward. But today I'm not gonna be talking about all of her drama, I'm gonna be focusing on her looks and how she's transformed over the years. Nikki is well known for flaunting her assets or showing off her body, which we can admit isn't all natural. She also has some wild fashion choices and clearly loves to shock people with her outfits. These days, Nikki is in her mid-30s at the time of this video, and it's no doubt that the star has changed a lot over the past few years. What's going on, guys and girls? My name is Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. Today, we're gonna focus on Nikki, any work she's had done, her body, and just how she transformed over the last few years. I've done other celebrity transformation videos, including ones on Lele Pons and Ariana Grande, and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments, and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Looking at Nikki's face offhand, it doesn't really look like she's gotten work done. Comparing pics from before though, it seems like she could have gotten a nose job as it looks smaller now than before. This has actually been a subject of speculation, but the star straight up denies it. Nikki told Extra way back in 2013, People see my makeup and they think all types of crazy things I'm doing to my skin. Like, no, it's makeup. It's the weirdest thing. Like, they'll see contour and they'll think you had surgery in your nose. No, 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 look at RuPaul's Drag Race and you'll see how you can make your nose look any shape you want. I've never had surgery on my face. God, it's makeup people. Now there's definitely a good chance that what Nikki says is true, but she also said this quite a few years ago. A lot can change in six years, especially since Nikki is getting older and somehow I think her face is looking hotter as she ages. Experts have weighed in on the nose topic and think that Nikki definitely did get work done. Apparently her nose is too thin and narrow to deny a rhinoplasty and that maybe she gets some fillers in her nose as well to make it look more natural looking. So I guess there's plenty of possibilities. Looking at her nose from way back, it does look wider and less defined than now. But when she goes for a more natural look, I can believe that maybe she didn't get a nose job, but who knows. So Nikki denies getting cosmetic work on her face, but considering the star is in her mid thirties at the moment, I feel like that's almost too good to be true. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there definitely has been changes in her face and face shape over the years. These days it's been looking extra smooth and flawless. So apart from the nose job speculation, I think that maybe Nikki is keeping herself youthful with a little help from fillers or Botox, which could also help to enhance facial features. I read somewhere that Nikki got a facelift to get her face so perfect, but I find that a little bit extreme considering she isn't that old. However, I do agree with Botox because she literally looks like she has zero wrinkles. It would explain the plastic look Nikki has and I think it makes sense since sometimes her face looks just slightly frozen. Let's move on to the main attraction, Nikki's body. Now there's no denying the star got a bunch of work done in that department. I mean, I think her body shape is one of a kind and she definitely made it that way on purpose. Starting with Nikki's boobs, you can easily tell they're not real. Although Nikki isn't open about her surgeries, it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. They're huge. Looking at some of Nikki's before pics, I assume she started off with a B cup and now with implants, she's a D cup or even larger. She could have even gotten a few boob jobs over the years to get them to the size and appearance that they are these days. I'm sure her man Kenneth doesn't mind though. 
So Nikki is well known for her giant booty. It's impossible to miss, that's for sure. And for a while there, it seemed to just keep growing bigger and bigger. Probably the most obvious ways that you can tell her butt is fake is because her body didn't grow along with it and her waist stayed so small compared to her hips and backside. It also looks rock hard in a lot of her videos and doesn't seem to have that natural jiggle. Even times when Nikki has been performing, there have been photos where you can catch how solid her butt is. Like if it doesn't move sitting down, that's a little bit unnatural. Nikki has always loved flaunting her butt, so it's really become her signature. Who could forget her cover pick for Anaconda? And the whole music video is basically booty shaking and showing off her butt. At least if it's fake, she's getting her money's worth. Nikki's butt before seems smaller, but really anything is smaller than what she's got going on now. This pic I always see all over the internet when I try to look at old pics of Nikki, but I'm never sure if it's actually her. It looks like a totally different person, not to mention her backside is flat. So can someone clarify for me in the comments whether that's actually a throwback of Nikki or not? I can't tell if it's just a joke. Anyways, Nikki's growing, gravity-defying booty has to either be the work of many injections or a Brazilian butt lift fat transfer, where they transfer fat from elsewhere on the body into the butt and hip area. A lot of those chicks you might see on IG with unnaturally shaped hips to butt to waist ratio is often a result of one of these procedures, and especially when they have an extra flat tummy too. Nikki usually has a flat and toned stomach, so it's definitely believable. Whatever Nikki has or hasn't gotten done in terms of her body, she seems to be confident and pleased with the way she looks. And that's all that matters. Nikki still does get criticism like a lot of celebs do from the public. End of last year when she performed at the E! People's Choice Awards, she got bashed for her body. The IG account The Shade Room posted a vid and in the comments people went off. It ranged from Nikki being called Miss Piggy, people saying she needs a diet, and even reading, I'm sorry but she looks disgusting. If you're gonna get your body done, it should be done to perfection. People can be rude, that's for sure. So clearly everyone does think Nikki got her body done up the most and it's pretty obvious, but I don't think it ever makes it okay for the fat shaming or dissing. Anyways, this was a while back and Nikki usually doesn't seem like the kind to care. When people have commented to her saying her body's fake and that she paid to look the way she does, Nikki said back, You can't even show your whole face. Must suck to be so jealous, miserable, insecure and ugly. Damn, and that was only one incident, so Nikki definitely isn't scared of clapping back to any haters. I don't know if Nikki plans on making any more changes to her body in the future, but I'm not sure there's anything she could enhance further. I want to know what you guys think about Nikki's body though and the work she has done, so comment and let me know. Another part of Nikki's appearance change in her before and after has to do with her skin. She's not the only celebrity to be accused of lightening her skin, but I definitely think that she does. Skin lightening is actually pretty common and popular though. If you compare photos, it seems that Nikki had darker skin before and over the years it's gotten lighter. Fans have also speculated that her complexion has really changed. Nikki's skin changes aren't too drastic, so even though there are procedures for this like skin bleaching, she could have just used a natural skin lightening cream to make these changes gradually. And if you're like me and don't really know much about this topic, apparently skin lightening agents or these special lotions work to reduce melanin in the skin. Melanin is the main substance that makes up the color of the skin. Anyways, the explanation gets really specific, so I'll just let you Google that if you want to know more. Let's talk about Nikki's hair. So I would definitely call Nikki one of the original wig queens. In my opinion, she was one of the first celebs to really have fun with them and make it so obvious they were wigs. She's been able to switch up her hair whenever she wants because of them, so it works. But her wigs have evolved since the early days. Back then, I think they looked more costumey, even though Nikki still pulled it off. Now she's at the top, so she can definitely afford the best hair in the game, which is probably one of the reasons why they're so perfect looking now. I think that Nikki has tried every color of the rainbow and more than once, but I'm not surprised because it matches her bold sense of style that she's so known for. Nikki doesn't always do outrageous colors though. Sometimes she still goes for natural and does wavy black hair or a brunette color, and I think these Nikki looks might just be my faves. She's still her glam self, just the colors really suit her face. Nikki's wigs are so epic sometimes, I don't even know how she can rock them that long. Like how does she not sit on that or even trip over it? The hair is almost as long as her whole self. Okay, so I'm sure we can all agree that Nikki has changed a lot since she broke out onto the rap scene. Even though we already talked about her transformation here on this channel before, I felt like it was the perfect time for a refresher. 
and plus Nikki keeps evolving both looks wise and in general, so I feel like there's always something that we may have missed. With Nikki releasing some big songs recently, just like Hot Girl Summer, and also because of her drama, whether it's about her and Cardi, or her and her supposed new hubby, Kenneth the Convict, I think she'll be a hot topic for a little while. I think that Nikki's body is pretty plastic looking, but I also think that was exactly what the rapper was going for. I mean, she's called herself Barbie plenty of times. But I would rather know what you guys think about how Nikki has changed and the work she's had done, or what look you like on her best. So don't forget to comment. Even though Nikki is an OG in the hip hop scene now, I don't think she's going anywhere. So I'm curious to see what Nikki's in the news for next. So just like the last time, I'm gonna read out a few comments from you guys on our other vids. This one was from Cutie Vivo on our Ariana Grande before and after, who said, she went from blonde girl with light skin emoji to blonde girl with darker skin emoji. Not hating, just a joke, lol. Well, cutie vivo, I tried my best to describe the emojis you used here, and I think what you were getting at is that Ariana went from super pale to tan AF, which I also think is true. Her whole skin tone seemed to mysteriously change over a few years. On our video of Lele Pons before and after, DMW said, she looks like zombie killer girl. Okay, DMW, you're gonna have to tell me who that is. Now I'm curious about who this zombie killer girl is, unless I'm really missing something here. And also on the same vid, Coco Daisy requested a before and after on Sniper Wolf. So thanks for the idea, Coco. I'm definitely gonna put Sniper Wolf on my list. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here and before and after. If you wanna talk more about Nikki's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.